Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Six Alice, and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, The Frozen Wilds. We were in the middle of a main quest where we were climbing the whole, uh, I'm not sure, facility, Banuk, or whatever it is, and the quest's name is The Shaman's Path. So, uh, we stopped uh, midway. If I dare say, I'm not sure if it's midway or not. We just saved here, and since we required more than 20 minutes, I decided to divide the episode. So we're continuing our progress into this climb to see whatever this facility is hiding. Maria must be close. Maria must be close. Okay. I wonder if I had to finish this in the last episode. Like there is nothing to do except opening this door. She has to be in here somewhere. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Eh, not reading right now. But we are definitely exploring. And some for sure in this game you might miss something. If you don't look around. Uh, why? There's clearly a path here. Why didn't they, they didn't let me through here? Uh, nothing here. I guess they didn't let us through because there's a way here. Okay, what is this? That's an audio. Someone hacked the menu bar to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Uh huh. Whatever is this blast door? Open it. What the hell? There's yes, there's again. someone there. As I've asked a thousand times. Speak what? to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. Hmm. I could show you. Yes, show me. She's desperate Please. for information. <laughs> okay. Seems like we have stuff to do. Uh, should we look around first? Security measures. There's stuff there, and there's some purple stuff. Another reading, and what's this? Some kind of animal, a keepsake of the opals. Huh. Isn't this loot? That's definitely a crater or something. But oh, sealed door. I think that was. This is the way to go. Later on, I bet. Anything else I can loot, please? Come on. Apparently not. Well, they're still here. No? I went in there. Ah. Uh. No, this is the way we came from. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop this. Goal is the same. Get the light. Uh, okay. Shit. <laughs> I have to figure this out separately. So where's the source? 
Is this the source? No. Or is this? Um. what I'm supposed to do here. I think this should be... No. some different way so if you can change this course here see how this goes maybe do this okay I think I'm getting somewhere here okay and then nice okay this is definitely new here Getting clearer, more obvious. Yeah? Come on, come on. Okay, uh, how about this? No, I don't think so. Okay. Yes. Okay, now. Oh my god, I got it. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is what someone the there? Ikorea? Orea, I need you. So there is definitely a spirit talking to her? A machine spirit? You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we well, can find a way to set her free. Let's not, prideful, not get ahead of you know? ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Spirits. Well, I'm definitely curious, so I'm gonna ask my questions. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But 
You and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Hmm. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. I think we can ask more questions about, about silence. silence. I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Yeah. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones, parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. Bones? So began our communion. Seriously? You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience. Do you think she was like manipulating wisdom. her? I told her things or long playing at her level, you know, leveling with her. Family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? Hmm. I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Okay. The daemon. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drone. Hmm. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help to find a way to destroy her if necessary to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again until today. What kept time? you from the spirit? After it begs for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warak of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass through the many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. Hmm. After. Okay. 
he and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. <laughs> Nostalgic much? Okay, let's go to let's the Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and I the love daemon it how on the mountain summarized the whole story. Drum. So why don't we go there and, and figure out what it all means? And yet she listened to every can't. single word she Thunder's had to say. Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Seriously? Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. <laughs> We're going to be Fine. leaders, guys. What do I have to do? Get the Werex attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Uh, do friends. all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Did you guys notice the wires on her arm? It's actually underneath the skin. I'm not sure. If she's a cyborg or something, but the, this is weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this box that I checked earlier was definitely lootable. Let me see, what is this? Banuk Storm Slinger Weapon Box. Now what is this? Treasure Box. R2. Is this it? Yes. The nuke stone. Let me see what this is about. Uh, where are the weapons? Here. What? This weapon fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge. Deals increased damage. I'll see. New side quest for the Warak. Okay. Prove yourself to the Warak. I guess we're done here. What should I do? Where's the map, actually? Okay, how do we get out of here? the outside. Now the doors is, can be opened. Good. I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. Okay! It seems like we have our work cut off for us. So we need to prove ourselves here. Prove ourselves here. And whatever this is... I think this is a side quest of some sorts. And 
clear this bandit camp. But we're not doing this in this episode, I think. This is where we're going to stop the recording, guys. And that will be all, guys, for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please share the video with your friends. Comment. Like. Subscribe. This helps me a lot. More than you know. Really. It helps out. Please give it some time. And if you want to see my future videos or my past videos, you can follow me on one of the social media that you guys are running here in the back. You can also find the links in the description down below. Again, no excuses. Give it some time right now. Go, 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 go. Till next time, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Please stay safe and see you guys next time. Bye.